Nurses in Mombasa have issued a one-week strike notice to the county government for failing to pay their May salaries, including COVID-19 risk allowances. The union says they will paralyze medical services, including COVID-19 treatment, if not paid by next week. We're having 23 plus healthcare workers who have already turned positive from this, and they don't have the basic insurance. How do we work? How do they expect us to work? Even if we say we have this strength, but how much strength do they expect us to sort of have? To what extent? How are they covering us? Meanwhile, a toilet structure in Nakuru County costing 1.5 million shillings collapsed a day to its launch. Workers at the site escaped unhurt after the foundation sank into the pit moments before they arrived. Kabatini Ward Area MCA Peter Masharia faulted the contractor of a poor workmanship, saying it was by sheer luck that the structure had not been put to use, as this would have been a tragedy. K24's attempt to reach the contractor proved futile as communication went unanswered. Babu hili jengo, ama huu mjengo wacho ulianzishwa mnamo siku ya jumamosi, wiki iliyopita. Na wakati waliweza kuweka ile basement, E, waliweza kujenga kwa kasi sana kwa sababu walikuwa pia siku ya jana wakifanya kazi ya kufanya key in yani mjengo wote ulikuwa umekamilika kwa muda wa siku tatu hili jambo liliweza kutusikitisha sana lakini tukafikiria kwamba walikuwa nafanya mjengo mzuri lakini ole wao tulipata kwamba kazi ambayo ilikuwa imefanywa pale haikuwa kazi ambayo yenye usarabu <tune> Elsewhere in Tika Kiambu County, the cargo train has been revived, which will boost transport of bulk of goods to and from the region. This follows the rehabilitation of the 178-kilometer Tekalanyuki meter gauge railway. The cargo train service has so far attracted at least 12 companies from the vast Mount Kenya region, going by its reliability in transporting goods. Actually, at uh, almost 80%, towards 90%. We expect to complete this rehabilitation by the end of the month. We should be able to run the first train uh, end of this uh, month of June uh, 2020. Brenda Chiriot, K24 Evening Edition.